Welcome to a new Lightroom tutorial. In this video, we will turn this gray flat image into this one. This tutorial will involve a lot of light shaping using different kinds of masks. So if you want to follow along and try this all yourself, you can find the raw file in the description of the video. And now let's go. So here we are in Lightroom with our flat image which we want to change. First off, let me head into the basic tab and change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard, just to get a more flat base image and thus more control over the contrast. For the white balance, I'd like to bring down the temperature, making the whole shot a bit colder, but not too much. And I'm not changing the tint since I think the green tones here look quite good. When taking a look at this program, we can see it does look pretty good. By that I mean there's no under and no overexposure, so that's great. However, I'd like to bring down the highlights, just have some more detail in the sky. So let's bring it down quite a bit. All right, then I'd like to raise the shadows for more details in the darkest parts. And then let's raise the whites, just so we have some more brightness to work with when we are later heading into the masking stuff. All right, that looks good. Finally, I also want to raise the blacks just like that. Okay, then for some smaller effects, I'd like to raise the texture. This will give the image some more sharpness. And then let's bring up the vibrance because I'd like to have some more colors in here. Okay, so that's our image after the base adjustments. You can see we have much more details in the shadows and in the sky. The colors do look much better except for this strange area in the sky, which we will fix later, I guess. But for now, we do have a pretty good image to work with. At this point, you can see the light is still very, very flat. But as I said, I want to change that. And for that reason, we will be doing a lot of masking. So let's head into the masking menu. I guess the easiest thing to do right away is to add a little bit of glow into that bright area. For that reason, as always, I'm using a radial gradient. Just drag it up like that. And I'm making sure this radial gradient is covering some of those edges, especially here over the ground and over that tree. So I think that looks pretty good. Maybe let's make it a little thinner and rotate it a bit. In here to add the glow, I'm bringing up the blacks. And I'm also going to decrease the dehaze and let's decrease it quite a bit. All right, this will introduce overexposure to this image, but I think in this area, that's fine. We don't need that much detail in here anyway. Next up, I do want to work on the sky. For that reason, we can simply use a select sky mask. Since you have a pretty clear border here, Lightroom shouldn't have a big problem selecting the sky, as you can see. However, I don't want to change that part of the sky where the light is coming in. That means I'm going to subtract a linear gradient just like that. And with the rest of the mask, I'm going to bring down the exposure just like that. Now let's compare to before. You can already see quite the difference with the light part on the left side and the darker part on the right side. And so we just start to slowly shape the light of the image. Now let's take a closer look at the foreground. Right now it's just like a solid green field without shadows or any light in there going on. We can quite easily change that and add some more depth to the image by adding a linear gradient. So let's create one just like that and make sure to align it to the shape of the hill. I think that looks pretty good. And with this linear gradient, I'm just going to drop the exposure. And thus we're just adding some kind of shadow effect to the foreground and bringing some more attention to the center of the image. All right, that looks great. So once I have set up this linear gradient, I can notice the sky in the top right corner is a little too bright for my taste. I'm going to fix that the same way I did with the foreground, simply by using a linear gradient. And I guess I just create one like this and bring down the exposure. Let's drop it quite a lot to make it nicely visible, just like that. Then I do think I want to further brighten up the very top part of that hill. 
selecting this area will be a little more tricky, but don't worry about that. We simply create another sky selection. And with the sky selection, we want to hit the invert button to select foreground with the trees. And on that selection, we're going to further subtract using a linear gradient. I'm going to deselect the near foreground because I only want to affect the top part of the hill, as I said, maybe like this. And I'm also going to subtract the trees with another linear gradient, just like that. Let's give it a try by bringing up the exposure. That's looking really good. I'm also going to introduce some clarity just to give this area more detail as well as some texture. Okay, and finally, we could maybe raise the highlights as well. All right, now that looks really, really good. One thing I do want to change is the trees. For that reason, I'm simply going to use a color range mask. The reason for me to not use a select subject mask is because there are a lot of tiny holes in the tree which Lightroom wouldn't be able to select. So let's just make use of the color range mask. Click somewhere in the tree right here and you can see we get a pretty good selection. Of course, we need to subtract the foreground again. So I guess that's looking good. And in here, I'd like to bring up the highlights some more as well as the contrast and maybe raise the shadows a bit. That looks really good. Compared to before, you can see how we got a completely different light situation by just making use of some masks. At this point, I'm quite happy with the light. So what's left to do after the masking is the color grading. Let's head into the HSL panel. For this shot, I'd like to bring up the yellow saturation just to make the field in the foreground a little more colorful. And then let's head into the luminance tab. Here we can adjust the light a little more. For example, I can raise the green luminance, which will make the foreground brighter. I can do the same with the yellow luminance, just giving the foreground some more brightness like that. All right. And in the color grading panel, I just want to change the shadows a little bit giving them a cold color tone with a very low amount of saturation. And I could maybe even drop the shadow luminance, making the shadows a little darker, but not too much. And this will just add some more contrast. Then let's head into the calibration tab and raise the red primary hue. This will make the foliage a little more intense. We can also bring up the saturation here. This is looking really, really good. All right. Finally, I'm going to sharpen this image in the details tab, bring down the radius, increase the detail, add masking. So only the trees get sharpened like that and increase the amount of sharpening. All right. And at this point, that's it for editing this shot in Lightroom. Now there's a little black spot in the top left corner. I'm going to fix that in Photoshop and maybe clean up the image of some other sensor spots as well. So I'm not going to record this for the video. I hope this Lightroom tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.